Yo, what is up everybody? Zan's Epic Kid here. Back again with another Heta game, which was made for Tema's recent Heta game jam called Shambles. And this entry is by a team consisting of Blue Lobsters and Miss Hirataku, which is a pretty interesting pair considering the games that they've both made in the past. So it's cool seeing them team up for this one. Miss Hirataku, you might have recognized her stuff from 1965, Olympus, also Enna, especially P, and then from Blue Lobsters, they've got 48 Hours, which is vastly different in tone to this. Um, they've also got Judge, Jury, and Executioner. And there was one other, I forgot. Yeah, anyways, that's some of the games they made. And here we've got Shambles, which seems like a horror theme so far, or thriller, um, considering the warnings, I guess I'm getting that sort of vibe too. It's kind of creepy, <laughs> not gonna lie, but, you know, willing to get through this. And yeah, this was for a jam, and the jam's theme was Himaruya's canon alternate universes. Like, stuff like Neotalia, Nekotalia, not necessarily Cardverse or Tupitalia, but... So, I'm not actually sure what kind of theme they went with here. I kind of forgot. Considering the music here, this really reminds me of Silent Hill. Which is, uh, whoa, spooky. Anyways, without further ado, let's continue and see what this game has. Oh, snap! This is... It's the future. Fifth June twenty twenty. Oh my god, COVID Is this what happens? Nah, I'm sorry. I just couldn't help it. Oh wow. Hey, that window's safe. S O S E someone help me. In the freaking apocalypse? I mean, I know 2020 was kind of bad, but what is this? Hmm? What the heck? That, that should hold him off for a while. Whoa! Okay, this is Air's face sets. They kind of remind me of 1965 space sets, but like, updated. <laughs> they- they came out of nowhere! <gasps> they must be spreading more throughout this area. We can't even scout the city without running into them. Okay, from what I'm seeing so far, it looks like they're wearing the outfits from Painted White. Oh my god, did the Pictonians freaking fuck shit up? I have a feeling we can't lay down enough traps to keep them at bay either. If we don't want to die, we should probably find another stronghold somewhere else where we can stay. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought we wouldn't need to move again. I'm so sick and tired of constantly running. I know I'm in a telly and I'm supposed to love running everywhere. At this point, we have no choice. Unless we can figure out where they're coming from. You, you got an idea, Canada? Where's France? Uh-oh. Oh no. Holy f- <laughs> He's still inside? Gasp! What the hell? Does he have a fucking death wish? Well... Well, perhaps we should leave those two to die by their own stupidity. Not my problem! We're not doing that. First off, one of them's my bro. The other one I think kind of was like my dad, sort of. We can't just let people die because we are afraid. We can't let fear control us. Coming from me, this is terrifying. We've survived this long because we stuck together and we're stronger for it. Wait, where's Germany? We should never let this situation control us. 
We should never lose ourselves to the holy ripple despair of crumbling society. We can rebuild and become even stronger than. Um, they fucking went back. Uh, uh, I guess my speech worked. Mm. It's a jam. Ah, oh, shit. Which way would he be? Listen to the sound of inhuman growling and infeminate screaming. Then follow it. Holy sh- That's everywhere! Ah, oh, that really narrows it down there now, doesn't it? sounds came from every direction and I couldn't hear the, his signature lady scream. Yeah, his scream is kind of like, ah! <laughs> So I assume he has already minced meat. Shut your trap! He's gotta be around here somewhere. I'll go left, you go right. You go down the hall straight ahead. Okay, so Marco's going left, Canada's going right. Wait, which left? Never mind. Of course. I will split up to find my beloved France. Oh, those those fangirls always love to ship me with them. Including me. We only got a save file. Let's make two in case. Shit. This place is boarded up tight. We better find a way around. Got some boards. Go up. <laughs> Bloody hell, that's deep. What is that? Okay, so far it seems we're in a biohazard like situation, and France is stuck. <laughs> He's the damsel in distress. Okay, we just stepped on it. I thought we were gonna read some important documents. Is it normal to be this slow, or is it just my computer freaking out? Okay, yeah, it's definitely my computer freaking out. Oh, thank goodness. Fucking hell, how are we supposed to get over? Maybe there's something useful we can lay down to help us cross over? Sounds like a good idea. Okay, well, we just happen to have seen something. Hello? Can I go back? Can I go back? Oh no, I'm trapped in here! No! Okay, so maybe there's something else. Here we go! This piece of wood should be big enough to bridge that gap. Well, come on then. We don't have any more time to waste. Okay. Let's bridge the gap now. Yay! This is good! This is- this is good. Blood! Looks like you can get to the through to the other side here at least. Be on your guard, England. Rightio! Double O Ninja! Hiya! Stop pretending that you're a ninja. Sorry. Okay. Some some files. Um a messed up thingy. Is there anything useful? Oh, Oh, cool. Uh-huh, this is a barricade. I don't know where I am. Hmm. Should we check in one of these rooms? It might be in there somewhere. Well, there are a lot of them. It's a bit inconvenient, yeah? Seems like a lot of trouble to go to each individual one. I guess. <clears throat> ah! Since that my beloved France is not in one of those rooms. Because the power of our love is so strong that I have an extra sensory perception that allows me to know exactly what location he's in without needing to check anywhere. So you can basically smell where he is. I mean, his perfume is pretty strong as hell. Um, sure, let's go with that. to use that in the lobby so we didn't have to split up into different groups. Ugh. Because I lack brain cells. 
Right, let's keep going. Is this a parody of a uh, apocalypse? Dictionary. <laughs> oh shit! The Victorians mutated. At least it's not rated R blood. Red blood instead of it's the green blood. Fucking hell, Romano, watch out! Ooh. Get the hell off me, you disgusting pickle bastard! Get off! Oh, come on, we need to shoot. I need to reload! I can't press it! What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> run, bitch, run! <laughs> uh... Was that just a tutorial and that's why I survived? <sighs> Penguin, are you alright? I should be asking you if you're alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'll walk it off. Let's keep going forward. We can't afford to stop and fight any pictos. We have limited ammo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that... Well, that certainly wasn't safe. What the heck, man? France, lovely, where are you? Oh, uh, yes. Stop, he's in here. Jeez, you're like a horny bloodhound or something. <laughs> I like the art style. It's more reminiscent of the old Dean style, but not as horrible. Ah, oh, yes, I have the cutting powers. France! Oh, my love, let me snog you. England. I thought you left me behind. No, I would never do that. I'm just so relieved that you cared enough about me to not leave me there tonight and never let you stay with that like this. Wow, how touching. Anyway, stop mucking about. We have to leave. Oh, bloody hell. Well, shit, we lost him, guys. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. This world of like a bunch of rats and a grocery aisle full of cheese. <laughs> I love Romano with this! Oh no! Ah! Ah! Oh no! I am becoming... A picto! At least it's not the rainbow zombies this time! Oh god, that hurt! Ow! Ow! Please! <laughs> oh shit, we need to save him! <laughs> I like how he's so... Emotionally invested in this England. Like how England's just like, yes, I I'm madly in love with France. Can you tell by my stellar acting skills? Whoa. <laughs> Damn, we're out of ammo. If only. <laughs> France, no! Ah! Oh. <laughs> you didn't see me give a fuck. <laughs> you took. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Let's get out of here. I need water. Did you find him? Yes, he is dead. I am crying tears of sorrow and disconcertion. There is no way that we will be able to I know that you really cared about him. Yes, I, I have cared about him so much that it pains me to see him die. Well, um, we did, and we tried to save him, but, uh, we fucking run out of bullets. Cause it reload. <laughs> the box croaked. What the shit? <laughs> is this 
This is some sort of post-apocalyptic parody. I'm sure of it. Oh. Well, shit, man. I told you. I said he would be nothing but an undercooked kebab by the time you got to him. How could you be so insensitive? Because I'm an asshole! That's how everyone likes to portray me in fan stories. I'm just there to be evil and shit. <laughs> oh dear, did I strike a nerve? I am only speaking the truth. You're spitting on Francis Grave! I ought to knock your teeth out. Oh no, I'm very afraid. Very, very afraid. I am crying and shaking and being myself in terror right now. Everyone, stop! Stop the fighting! Stop the anger! Stop the hatred! Wait! I am the epitome of hope! I am literally Naegi, except in country form! We've already lost so many to this alien invasion, our dear friends! Like China, who got <laughs> locked off of the cliff into a swarm of pictos! Or Germany, who was hit by a runaway train, being run by a picto without a train operator's license! <laughs> what? Picto? The few of us that are left are supposed to be working together! Trying to find a way out of this place, survive and rebuild society. I am crying literally right now, except not in sadness. Apart, we are like a single hand, roaming alone and bound to be squished under our shoe. But together, we are like a strong alpaca, switching on the mutant signals with our glory. We just built like a bridge. We must be strong! <laughs> okay, we must... Wait, I wasn't done talking! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, shut up, little brother. Let's go. Let's keep going. Hey, I bet he... I bet Russia's gonna die next. Oh, those are some fighting words. Want to square up, America? Um... If we continue east, we should be able to find other safe havens, away from the Pictos. That is, only if they hadn't bypassed the city, when we got here initially and infected everywhere else around us. Yep, we're fucked, leaving only this area untouched until now. Shut up, you're just making this whole situation worse with your asshole remarks! I am token asshole! Goodness, the American boys are very angry with me today. I am the only American in this entire group. It is too bad that I don't care about any of you, because fuck all of you. This is a joke. Nah, just leave him be, America. He's just trying to get a reaction out of us. <gasps> Please stop fighting! We are friends! I'm not friends with that douche nozzle. Italy, what are you doing? You giving him... Marshmallows? For God's sake, can I just eat my fucking stew in peace without having a bunch of man babies whining about who said that what mean thing to who? Like, jeez, you'd think that a bunch of mortal beings would be able to keep some fucking semblance of composure during an emergency. <laughs> I like how Romano's like, I don't know, he's like the one dude forced to watch everyone just go insane. He's like the straight man of this entire group. But the amount of whining coming from this group is more into the daycare with a juice box shortage. <sighs> is this from the soundtrack of the official movie? Hmm. Th does anyone want seconds? Oh, I would love some. Now let's do another supply run. Uh. I'm too slow because I hate running now. Mm, this place looks abandoned. Hopefully that means those fuckers aren't around here. Let 
let's make a bunch of noise that will alert these guys. Oh, <laughs> Lee's running. <laughs> sexy kid! Oh, sexy kid! If only I could go in there. The last sex shop in the world. Let's go inside and pay our respects. Let's not and say that we did. What the fuck is wrong with you? They could have some supplies we need in there. No, you're, you're just as horny as he is. I know what's up. Like what? Do you want to use a dildo as a weapon or something? Mm. How creative. Not a bad idea. I was joking. Maybe they'll have some whips or something we can use to fight off the Pictos. Like some sweet fluffy handcuffs. Or mugs with boobs on them. I oh, don't know. <laughs> what the hell? Where's the sexy stuff? This is a PG-13 rated game. So there cannot be any sexy stuff. Sorry! It looks like we've stumbled onto a base of sorts. Hopefully the owner will not mind us breaking in and taking their things. Are you stealing their stuff? What if they need those things to survive? Well, that is too bad for them. This place could very well be abandoned. So I can take their canned beans, yeah? But that's stealing! Not that the occupant is dead. Now that- yeah, and then it's looting! And they seem to have a nice setup over here with those pillows and sheets. Looks like a comfy place for us to spend the night. I'll admit, this is a pretty swanky pad. We do need a place to stay for a while. Why not stay here? I'm just saying that seems like a bad idea. What if the person who lives here gets mad and attacks us for stealing their stuff? They wanna try something, we can take them on. It's six semi-immortal beings versus one human. <laughs> hey! Hey, hey, guess what, guys? I want to show y'all something very cool real quick. This is something I made for the lols years ago. It's supposed to reference Dream Talia, but yeah, it's like, who would win? Nations personified as semi-immortal bishy boys? Or, you know, the head of game villain of the week, guys. Who's gonna win? You know, who knows? Maybe somehow these misfits mobilize and then kick the shit out of the bad guy. It'll be nice to sleep inside for the night. Hey, maybe we could have an old-fashioned sleepover and pretend we're not in Hellas Apocalypse. Yay! We could watch a movie. Wait, no electricity. We could uh, play a board game. Did you say board game? I found something along those lines, if you're up for it. It's called Monopoly. We will totally not lose our friendship over this. Behold, the sexy dice! One of them lists body parts and the other lists actions, and you take turns rolling. And oh, no. The, the no, Romano and no. Romano. I think I have a pack of cards on me. We could play poker. Strip poker? No, fuck off! What fun is poker with no gambling? How about charades? Are you five? Sure. A riveting game of charades. I am the snark master. That's the spirit. Well, anything to distract me from the existential nightmare of living in a crumbling society. My favorite pastime is watching someone make a fool of themselves. Because I am evil. Mwahaha. <laughs> I'll pass. I'll pass. I'll just gather some supplies to make dinner instead. What are we doing? I forgot. My mind's burnt out from cracking up earlier. Oh, okay. I'm Romano. I can't save no! Uh, it's that baked bean stuff England's obsessed with. Can I go to sleep? Nah. You're gonna be the next to die, aren't you? The meat is out of date. But like a day. Eh, they won't know this, I'm sure. Ah, what? Hopefully this fuel can is full. 
Oh, I, I skipped that text. Oh, how did this guy collect a whole oil drum's worth of water? That's an unhealthy amount of potatoes. Oh well, bottoms up. Uh, is it a chicken? It's two words and it's sports related, remember? Ooh. What the polo? Line skating. Football. Football's one word, you dunce. Bat mitten. Uh. What the polo? You already said water polo. I know, it's tennis. That's one word. Canada, is it a sport or an object or person relating to sports? It's an object. Hockey stick. You're not allowed to say anything. Oh, sorry. I was just losing my patience at having to look like a chicken for a while. A golf ball? How do you... A tennis ball? Croquet mallet? <laughs> it's so painfully obvious. I won't say it, though. I like watching everyone suffer. Oh, is it the water polo horse? Uh, what? Why would there be a horse in water polo? You know what? Maybe I should just tell... No, that's cheating! But it's clear that none of you... If Russia figured out, then so can we! We'll figure it out what you're trying to tell us or die trying. <gasps> ah! Fucking shit, I just wanted to cook potatoes. Like, man, everything's scumsy shit that I want to eat potatoes now. Can you believe that? Oh dear, it seems we're not alone here. I think the homeowner is coming. I can't be going to die. Hide! Hide! <laughs> oh fuck! Everyone's in everywhere. Well, I'm I'm just a bat. Oh shit! My face! My face is burning off! Ah! <laughs> hmm. I don't you think it's a little rude to disturb a lamp while he's taking a nap? Romano? How the hell do you know my name? Weird masked man? Yeah, I was guessing it's Germany. Mm. Guess what, bitches? I lived. What the fu- Germany? <laughs> oh my god, Germany! I thought they would never see you again. I saw you get run over by a train. Yes, you did. Despite the fact that it's well established that I was definitely killed, for some inexplicable reason, I'm still alive. Because I am that awesome. Also, check out my new hairstyle, guys. Do you like it? Oh, wow, it's awesome. It, de it definitely gives you a sort of ragged look. <laughs> I also uh, missed you. Un stuff <laughs> God damn it cut Who's the direct What the <laughs> Oh my gosh It's It's the alternate universe Where all head of games are movies just like I dreamed Buddha, you completely botched your line! But you told us we could ad lib. Yeah, I know, but there's a limit. That goes for all of you. I get that some of the fan favorite lines from the last movie were ad libbed, but some of you are taking it way too far. We'll need to fix that. I want to take five anyways, after I give you your critiques first. Critiques like on our acting? Yes. As the director, I need to rip the band-aid off for some of you. Oh boy. I'll start with you, England. You're really not emoting enough. Can you blame me? I've been the main pro tag for 80 head to movies. Pardon? You're acting too indifferent to a lot of these situations. I mean, what the hell was that about France's death scenes? That was so sad. The France death scene, in particular, was really devoid of any kind of strong emotion. I 
remember, the fans want you to lament your lost love. But I hate him. Not in the movie, you don't. We're going to need to refilm that scene. Like, when we do... You need to cry, like, a lot. You know, we're gonna have to summon the invisible ninjas when there are onions. Cry, like, fake crying. Actual tears. You can cry on command, right? Crying on command's useful for tax fraud. No. Do I look like someone who's willing to cry every single time something goes wrong? Well, you're going to need to learn. You have too much integrity and monetary investment for fake crying here. What the heck happened to all the combat mechanics? It just... <laughs> it just disappeared after the very first battle and then never again. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Okay, next is Italy. Yes, sir! Stop staging the cast. I'm making these long, drawn-out monologues that are way longer than the ones I have for you in the script. Yeah, I thought it'd be good for me to have a lot of dramatic mo mo moments where I get to shine, you know? Yeah, but we're gonna cut those down a lot. You need to take a backseat to the other characters. You're being too distracting. But I'm the main... Dude, I'm the main character. In... Literally every Hedda movie. Wait, what? I'm altering the script a bit to give you less lines. And I'm gonna have to ask you to cut down on the long-winded ad-libbing. But, but I'm the main character. I'm front and center in the movie poster. Hey, my artistic vision is never wrong. You'll be fine to portray yourself just fine without all of this excess dialogue. Und Russia? <laughs> yes. Um. Oh, fuck. I don't want to. S uh, you know what? Uh, what feedback do you have for me, my dear friend? I. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh! I very much value your opinions and statements. So go on, tell me what I can improve on, and I will add you in my burn book afterwards. My dramaturg slash publicist will now tell you what you need to fix. Ahem. Huh? Huh? Oh, Philippines! <laughs> Philippines! Yay! Huh? Sorry, I was busy watching a video of a dog on the skateboard. What was the question? The fan reception for Russia. Oh, right. Russia, your fan base has some specific traits they like to see in you. Like... Fan base? I have fans? <gasps> People like me? Uh, yeah. The people who are fans of you. I... Have fans? Yes. Oh! I never had a fan before. Please tell me about my many new friends. <laughs> they seem... They seem to find you most endearing when you speak in broken English. Mm, I suppose I could do that. I'm half Filipino, but I don't know what a Filipino accent is. Sorry, guys. And there's some other data I've collected from the fan base, particularly Canada's. Not me? What do they like about me? Uh, I know what you're talking about, Philly. See, like when you're like a wimp. What? <laughs> I mean, that's what I was guessing. Pardon? They really, really like photo editing you with flower crowns and things like that, and calling you weirdly cutesy names and stuff. Nah, I like him when he's himself. Like, he's nice and polite, but unexpectedly badass when it comes down to it. Pardon? Yeah, like when you're emotionally vulnerable, weak, and effeminate, especially if you're in a ship with me. So we're going to have to change the script. To move all of that stuff, where you stand up for yourself, and where you try to save people! Hmm, uh, okay. Cool. Now America. Crunchitize me, Captain. That. That's got to stop. Stop saying the weird cringy shit. Huh? Social media guru? Okay, so... This is a long one, so buckle up. Mm. Someone wrote a fanfiction based on the first movie called To All the Nations, A Rose Never Bloomed. 
and this seems to have formed the foundation of much of what is considered culturally relevant within this fan base. I never heard of this fan fiction before. I've heard of the one where it's like off Wiedersehen, but that's I don't know. Uh, can you skip to the interesting part? You were portrayed as a strong and hunky type throughout the piece. None of your usual brand of wolfishness was portrayed at all. There were also some other things of note about your character in the fic. But I assume there will be no full frontal nudity in the sequel, so they're not relevant. Right, so hunky and spunky? Hunky and not so spunky. Just try to be eye candy. <laughs> Wait! You're, go you're going to be shirtless for the rest of the film. Oh, and you need to lay off of junk food. What? No dad bod? Man, these fans have no taste. Most importantly, Buddha. Yes. I know that acting is a challenge for you. I know that you had a lot of flubs in the first movie, and I know that the stage isn't the place where you feel comfortable. But do you mind, like, not sucking? I... Sure sing, brother dearest! And Romano? Oh. Here we fucking go. I found a lot of your emotional acting to be... Really compelling! Your line delivery is so genuine, so whatever strategy you're using to produce emotive dialogue is working. Yeah, I know this. I was like thinking, Romano's the only character that seems to be portrayed well here. I didn't see anything wrong with your performance. Just keep up what you're doing. Uh, thanks? So, is that out of the way? Everyone take five. Actually, I want a coffee. How long would the latte run take? Um, ten minutes, probably. Whoa, China, dude. Hey, I love that. They said China. Okay, get me a large mocha latte with four pumps of the hazelnut, six pumps of caramel, ten pumps of chocolate, three pumps of toffee, espresso sauce, almond milk, no wait, soy milk. Have them put on some warm apple drizzle on the sides of the cup, on the inside all fancily, then whipped cream, then a layer of raspberry drizzle, another layer of whipped cream- Jeez, you better pay like a bunch of money for this. Then some almond drizzle, extra whip on top, light ice, double foam, then a layer of raspberry drizzle, then another layer of whipped cream, then almost drizzle. Extra drop whip on top, light ice, double foam, we we'll make sure it's at 200 degrees. I need my mouth to burn. What the fuck? I fucking hate this job. Ah, I love having an assistant. If you continue, Venice gets back. Mommy Pussy gets antsy without her coffee. I'll send out the edited scripts once they're ready. Finally. I can wipe this fucking makeup off. Whoa, what the- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love that joke. That was so funny. Oh, much better. Now I don't look like a loaf of stale white bread. <laughs>